This is my Nintendo Switch, and today I'm going to turn it into a fully working computer. This means it will be able to browse the web, have keyboard and mouse support, and even be able to play computer games. This is all possible because you can install Linux on your Switch, but how will it perform? I don't know, so let's get started. Starting off, I made a list of everything I was going to need. A Nintendo Switch running Atmosphere custom firmware, Hakate version 6.06 .06 or higher, a micro SD card with 16 or more gigabytes of space, Ubuntu Noble, which is the version of Linux we're getting, and for you to like and subscribe. Now that I had everything I needed, I went to the Switch Root website to follow their guide on how to install Linux. It first told me to create a backup of my Nintendo Switch, but with the Switch 2 coming out soon, I feel like if something bad happens to my Switch, then it's just meant to be, so I just skipped that part. I then had to partition my SD card, so I booted into Hakate using Tegra RCM. Inside Hakate, I went to Tools, Partition, SD Card, and gave Linux 16 gigabytes of space, which is the minimum amount required. Partitioning your SD card removes all current partitions, so if you have an Emunand or Android setup, make sure to back them up and then give them the amount of space they previously had. By the way, if you're wanting to get Linux on your Switch, join my Discord server and follow my video guide in the guides forum channel, as it's much easier to follow because Nintendo hates when I upload in-depth Switch tutorials on YouTube. Only me, everyone else can do. Anyways, after that was done, I clicked SDUMS so I could access my Switch's SD card by plugging it into my computer. On my computer, I extracted the Linux zip file and dragged everything to the root of my SD card, ejected my Switch, and then on my Switch, pressed close. With that done, I went to Home, Nix Options, and pressed Dump Joy-Con BT, which will allow me to use my Joy-Cons in Linux. I then went back to Tools, Partition SD Card, and pressed Flash Linux. When that finished, I pressed Delete Installation Files to save 5 gigabytes of space. I need those 5 gigabytes. And with that done, I officially had Linux on my Nintendo Switch. So if I go to Home, More Configs, and press Ubuntu, I should boot into Linux. So if I press Ubuntu Noble, it should put me into Linux. Please work. If it doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Let's see. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, we got switch root right there. It, it says it's doing some stuff right here. I guess it's doing this stuff to make it work. I don't know. Blue screen. Guys, is this the blue screen of death? Dang, they really have a splash screen for everything. And there we go. I think we're inside of Linux. I don't know if the camera can see what it says, but it says system configuration right now. So I think I just have to set it up. Now that I was inside Linux, it was time to see if my Switch could do everything I wanted it to be able to do. First off, can I use a keyboard and mouse? So I'm going to put my Switch in the dock and plug in my keyboard and plug in my mouse. Oh no! Okay, now that they're directly inside the Switch, it should work this time. I'm gonna try to move my mouse and see if anything happens. Yo, let's go, the mouse is working. I'm not sure what's up with this resolution, but I mean, the mouse is working, so that's a good sign. But now that I know the keyboard and mouse are working, I'm just gonna finish setting up Linux. Maybe not in full screen, I guess the res- uh-oh, uh what did I just do? I then used my keyboard and mouse to finish setting up Linux, and once that was done, it was time to see if I could browse the web. So I was gonna go into here because this looks like the App Store, but when I clicked it and went to Installed, it appears that Chrome is already installed. How convenient. Chrome's actually my favorite web browser, so let's just see if it works. Open. Oh, wait, so it's happening, so it's happening. Yo, let's go, I think we're in Chrome. Well, actually, it's Chrome again. All right, we're on YouTube, and let's search for the best YouTube channel to ever be created. Look at that, look at that. We should watch I turned my 3DS into a Nintendo Switch. But let's go, Google Chrome is working. With my keyboard and mouse working and being able to use Google Chrome, it was time to test the most important requirement. Would I be able to run a computer game on my Nintendo Switch? I wasn't sure what game to test, so I pinged my Discord server and said I would try the first game someone Type. And the game that was chosen was... Okay then, let's see if that works. Oh no! Because I couldn't get Minecraft to work, I decided to do the second suggestion, which was to install a 3DS emulator and try playing Tomodachi Life. Watch this not work either. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna cry. Oh, yo, we're inside of it. That's a good sign. So now it says double click to add a new folder to the games list. So I'm going to double click and now I'm going to go to where I downloaded Tomodachi Life and I'm going to set that as the folder. And then if I set this as the folder, will it show up? Let's see. It does. Okay. All right, Tomodachi Life. Here we go. I wonder how many frames I'm going to get. My guess is going to be like 10 FPS. There's no way that a 3DS emulator performs well on a Switch. 30? Really? We're only at the loading screen right now though, so that doesn't really mean anything, but still, that's crazy. I was really expecting to get 10 FPS. I'm so surprised. Wow. What in the world? <laughs> Am I not allowed to make a me? Why is there this sign around it? What the heck? And every time I try to change something, nothing happens. I think this is all I can do. I don't think I'm able to do anything else. Well, you know what? The game worked. The game worked. I want to try out a computer game though. Guys, does this count as a computer game? I think it does. It's on the computer. I'm on cool math games right now. This is most definitely a computer game. Press space to begin. All right, let's do this. <laughs> How is it performing worse than the 3DS emulator? 
what there's no way the performance is this bad well actually it's google chrome i'm not surprised of course it performs better realistically is it because there's no hardware acceleration or something or maybe it's that warning in the very top i'm not sure if any of you know why a chrome game would perform this bad compared to a 3ds emulator please let me know down below because i'm actually confused technically the switch can run computer games because run run is a computer game guys you can't complain there thank you for watching me turn my switch into a computer and if you enjoyed please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more modding content bye